Angel City came together to build an organization where mission and capital could coexist. We lead with purpose and passion to drive profitability. And our purpose is to set higher expectations, both on and off the pitch. So as we look to build a team of players that will put W's on the board, we also want to have a positive impact in our community through one of three pillars that we pursue, which are equality, essentials, and education. We believe Angel City is bigger than a game. We really want to build something that has meaningful impact in our community, but could also be felt more globally by the entire soccer, soccer ecosystem. Um, we lead with purpose and we want to set higher expectations. And what that means is we want to have a positive impact on our community. And we do this in a number of ways. We've launched an impact fund with Kiva.org to support women-owned businesses here in Los Angeles. We've partnered with Heineken to have a positive impact and work with the LGBTQ community here. With some of our other partners, such as DoorDash and Sprouts, we are focusing on food insecurity and also working to educate kids on health and wellness and the importance of nutrition and building gardens and schools. And so when Angel City shows up, it's not just showing up with the soccer team, but it's also showing up to have a positive impact in the community and to be able to use sports as a way to address social injustice here. Uh, we want our legacy to be not only a champion here in Los Angeles with one of the other 11 professional teams here, but also causing meaningful change. So Angel City is unique. Uh, we're founded by three women, Natalie Portman, the actress and activist, Kara Norman, who's a venture capitalist here in Los Angeles for Upfront Ventures, and myself, which is a tech and gaming entrepreneur. And I say we did it differently because we are three female founders who went to our league and said, we want to bring a team to Los Angeles, knowing we didn't have the net worth requirements and knowing we didn't have a stadium. But we felt confident that between the two MLS stadiums here in Los Angeles and the other venues, we'd find a home. And we also knew that we wanted to build something differently. It wasn't just about building a soccer club. We wanted to build an organization where mission and capital could coexist. And so as we were going out and raising money for Angel City, um, unlike how you build other clubs, typically you go to the league and you have all the money you need. But we said, look, we want to bring a group of people together who believe in our mission, that are passionate about making a difference, and also want to have meaningful impact in the world of women's soccer and the real world of women athletes and really to empower women and to provide a platform, platform to draw awareness uh, to what's important to us and additionally how exceptional these female athletes are. Um, and so as we went and started talking to investors and to find like-minded people, we put together a group of over 60 individuals that include 14 former U.S. women's national team players. And what unites all of us is this greater feeling that we are doing something bigger than just launching a soccer club and recognizing that if we build a platform that stands for equality and impact, and Angel City represents both a positive impact in the community, but also you know, a winning team on the field, we can just you know, garner greater impact and make a bigger difference. So year one success is packing the stadium. You know, we know how phenomenal these athletes are and how great of an experience we're gonna put on for the fans here in Los Angeles. So year one success is seeing 22,000 fans at 12 straight games in our inaugural year. From a Angel City perspective though, because our purpose is to set higher expectations, we wanna have a positive impact in our community. One thing we're doing with Nike is donating a Nike sports bra to young girls in need here in our community for every seat deposit we sell for Angel City. So that's a minimum of 22,000 sports bras. And so when we think about the impact we have, we think about it all from a short-term perspective like that example, but also a long-term perspective as we work to address food insecurity, as we work to um, create a better community environment for um, our kids as it relates to access to fields, but also access to food and transportation so they can even get to the fields to play. Angel City was started by three female founders. We are majority female owned company. We are majority run company. And we wanna make sure that we give opportunities to women to grow within sports, but also exposure to what the team looks like. Um, so certain things that we're doing is we have internships for um, kids in high school and in college to come join Angel City and to see what it's like to be part of an organization. Um, 
We also want to be able to develop our players to the extent that they feel like whole people and not just focusing on the product on the pitch, but developing a player curriculum where they learn about financial literacy and social media training and get PR training and even learn about player development and product development. So as they think about life after soccer, they have the tools necessary to be successful. To build the right culture, it has to start from the beginning and has to be part of every one of your decisions. And then secondarily, it's finding a team, both of investors and um, coworkers who believe in the same mission. So you're not asking the question why every time, or you're not thinking about these as trade-offs. Well, if I make this decision, I'll make more money, but we're not gonna have impact. Or if I make this decision to have impact, it's gonna cost us a lot of money, but there's no revenue piece to it to make up for it. You have to believe in the mission and know that you're not making a trade-off, but everything you do is advancing our purpose of setting higher expectations. And as long as we're aligned on that from the beginning and we have a team that believe in the mission and the purpose, um, we've found, you know, incredible success so far um, with Angel City leading that way. Thanks for having me at the first ever Next Up Soccer Summit.